Greetings and welcome one and all to the last update video for the Merry Making Gift Giveaway and once more into the skies we go! That's right, Winter Bells has officially become the update video for this giveaway this year. I'm not sure if I'm even going to change it next year, I am enjoying it that much. It is the 2nd of January, well almost the 3rd now actually, which means there are mere days before the giveaway ends. Two in fact, or one and a half I guess I should say and I draw the winners from the list of nominations. So I thought I'd give one last update on how many names and indeed how many games are in the giveaway. Bear in mind that these numbers are still likely to change a little in the final run up to midnight on the 4th of January, but uh, so far there are just a little over 400 names in the hat and a bit over 230 games on the list. And we have such an amazing spread of games as well, covering almost every genre from point and click adventure games to obscure real time strategies. And in some cases we have a few copies of the game, which is always wonderful in case it's more than one person that wants it. As ever, both lists are available on the Dappling Steam Group forum and I will drop a link into the video description below. But on the topic of more than one person wanting a game, I'll take this opportunity to discuss a concern that I've had and a solution I've come up with. As you know, I held a similar style of giveaway last winter and although the scope of the giveaway was much smaller, around 70 games, thus 70 winners, between hunting for contact information and waiting on people to get back to me, it still took a bit over a month to get out the prizes. And only a majority of them at that, there were still some people who took several months to notice my messages and get back to me. So. As you can imagine, a giveaway that has over three times as many gifts to give away does pose some unique logistical issues. However, the second concern, and probably the largest of the two, is that one thing I remember from last year's giveaway was the disappointment some of the people at the end of the winners list experienced, as by the time they got to choose a game, there wasn't very ch much choice left. In fact, the last person had no choice and instead gave up, as they weren't interested in the last game available. So, after a bit of a think, I've come up with a solution that will hopefully address- oh, that was a nice little bell chain there- um, that will hopefully address both of these concerns in a rather elegant way. Instead of each person winning only one game, they will instead have their choice of two games. However, I will first award a game to everyone on the list before going back through and awarding the secondary game to each winner. As that may sound a little confusing, here's an example. When the winners get picked and I've sent, uh, been sent contact information for them, they will be- oh, really? <laughs> I always overshoot. Ah, oh, it's a fairly long way down. How, what's, a, what's our score? It is... 43,693,180. Oh, that's actually not too bad. But, as I was saying, with a bit of an example, when the winners are picked, and I've been sent their, their contact information, they'll be sent a list of the prizes and asked to rearrange the list in the order from the game they want the most to the game they want the least. Then, using these lists and the order that the winners... <laughs> Damn it! I'm thinking too much about lists and orders to, to play the game. I go left when I should have gone right. Actually, that's a fairly common theme in my life, so I shouldn't be too surprised. But uh, once they send me back those lists, and using the, the order in which their names were selected, I'll send out the highest available game on each person's list. That means the very last person on the list to be selected would still have over half of the available games to choose from for their first pick, rather than the sad situation of last year where the last person had only one game to choose from. Bad rats. Once everyone on the list has had at least one game, I'll then start again from the top of the winners list and once more send out the highest available game from each person's uh, list of choices. This way the first winner picked will still get the greatest selection of games to choose from, but the last winner picked isn't left with no choice at all. This will also help in reducing the, well, frankly intimidating amount of work involved in coordinating over 230 people to send in information and game picks in a reasonable time frame to something nearer to 100. While I'm still resigned to the fact it will probably be weeks worth of work to get all the games out to everyone who wins, this is much better than the prospect of several months. 
Once again, the giveaway will end on midnight the 4th of January, and I'll announce the winners in a video on Monday the 5th. At that point, I'll need any contact information to be sent to me. Again, my email can be found on the channel's About page as soon as possible. As in the interest of not holding everything up this year, come Monday the 12th, that one week later, I'll start sending out the prizes. If I haven't received contact info and all the winner's choice of games, they'll simply get pushed further down the list of winners by... <laughs> Drat! Ah, oh, I was so close to finishing everything I wanted to say. Almost every single time I play this, that happens. Oh well. Um, but as I was saying, if I haven't received their choice of games or all their contact information by then, then they'll simply get pushed further down the list of winners by those who have gotten back to me already. And that is literally all I wanted to say. We were so close. No, I'm not sure what I would do if I was still in the sky once I'd finished talking. Uh, so I suppose this works out well. There's still time to nominate someone if you haven't already. And if you've got any questions about the way the giveaway works, do feel free to post a comment in the video below. But uh, until next time we meet, and as always, good luck and take care.